Hey guys, Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. You know, one of the questions I always get besides what's the difference between bison and buffalo is do you have to have a permit to raise bison? What does it take to raise bison? So guys, what I want to talk to you about today is how to start a bison herd. Uh, there's no perfect way of doing this. I'll just tell you my experience and what I did. Um, I had a background in bison and obviously love this animal. And that experience um, back when I worked at the National Park Service kind of led me into um, you know, the influence of getting bison. And so that, first of all, was the encouragement of others and then just the influence of my background history with these animals. I wanted to be able to raise them. So I had the inspiration there and then encouragement of the family members and, and, my, and my wife to do something like this. And so that was a support system that I got that really helped a bunch. But there's several different things that I want to talk to you about today that will help you get started. And to be honest with you, uh, there's no special permit, uh, there's no special license or anything to raise bison. Uh, these are not exotic animals. Um, you know, you're not, you're not raising animals that are, are, are from a zoo. I know there's bison in some zoos, but this is not an exotic animal. Um, this is a natural species that uh, occurs here. And uh, basically you just treat them, it's, it's kind of like cattle. Um, you, if, if you want to start raising cattle for whatever reason you want to start raising cattle for, you can do it. Uh, you don't have to have any special permit to raise bison. Um, you don't have to set a special license or anything like that. You, if you want to do it, you can, um, as long as you have really good facilities, um, obviously to uh, contain the bison, good fencing, um, and, and you kind of have a background in it, it would, it would definitely help. Um, but to be honest with you, um, if you've had experience raising cattle, then, then you're not far off of, of raising bison. There are a couple different things, um, you know, behavior differences and, and different handling systems and, and behaviors and more stress. Uh, there, there is a difference between raising cattle and raising bison. But if you do want to raise bison, um, it's not that difficult to start. Um, you just need to get in contact with somebody that raises bison um, maybe somebody in your local area and um, that's where it starts from there if you've had if you have somebody local or somebody in your state um, that you can contact and start from there that that's probably the easiest way to do it and they'll kind of point you in the right direction I'll do whatever I can to help I would love to help um, you know I'm here in Oklahoma and I can answer any questions that you have for me that's not a problem uh, you know I just I got mine. I got in contact with a guy and I was just really lucky because this guy happened to be a big time bison guy and uh, he's 30 minutes down the road from our farm and so I was just really lucky and I got a hold of um, Doc Parsons and and he pointed me in the right direction. Um, but I had experience raising bison. I say raising them, taking care of them, handling them um, with my experience in the National Park Service. Um, when I was in college. So I had some experience there and I wasn't really uh, scared to raise them or be in the pen with them at all. Obviously a little nervous when you buy your own herd, but it's a little bit different. But uh, you can do it. You can definitely raise your own bison. Um, okay, those are not bison, but those back there are bison. 
I don't know what's going on here. But anyways, uh, you're, you can, you're more than welcome to get in contact with me if you would like to raise a bison. Um, it, if, you, if you have some experience raising cattle or, or bison in general and um, you want to expand, go for it. I, I uh, encourage you to do so. They're amazing animals and uh, they're fun to watch. They're just absolutely fun to watch. They're hanging out down here in our bottom pasture and um, just enjoying life. Another resource that you can reach out to is the National Bison Association. It is a great um, association. Uh, when I go to the conferences, the bison conferences, there's a summer conference and then there's a winter conference. Uh, the winter conference is in Denver. My wife and I attended it last year, had a great time. But you can even get on the website and you can get contact information there. And that will be very helpful um, if you're interested in raising bison. That's actually a good start. And you can branch off from there and figure out, uh, you know, maybe who's in your area. Maybe there's somebody local that raises bison. Um, maybe you've driven down the road and seen a bison herd. You know, if you can figure out who owns those bison, maybe that's a good start. Um, somebody within your state um, that raises bison. But you can always go to the National Bison Association look online. Uh, I believe it's www.bisoncentral.com and you can go on that website and get a lot of good information and there's a lot of good contact information on there as well. was good for something, huh, Eleanor? Does that feel good? What do you got in your hair? Hey guys, I hope I helped you out today. I uh, hope that I've encouraged you with some of my videos to raise bison. Um, it's not for everyone. I hope that you guys understand that um, these animals are very different uh, than cattle. They're different than any sort of livestock that if you've ever raised livestock before. Um, they're a very unique animal. They're a special animal. And uh, they have character. Um, they uh, are very, very social animals, which that's so interesting about them, um, which that's one of the things that just will attract you to them. It's just how social they are. They have this, this, this family and, you know, they, you can see how they interact with each other and, and even me as well and my family when we're out here. Um, but take your time um, and see if this is the right thing for you. Go visit a bison farm go and see how they operate. Um, you can go to a large scale bison farm or you can go to a small scale bison farm. Obviously mine is smaller. I started out small and uh, that's fine with me. I think this is easier to start out this way. And by the way, Ted Turner started out with a very small bison herd as well. And he's the largest bison producer in, in the world. So it's okay to start out small, but um, Use your resources, um, dig into it and get as much information as you can. Go visit a farm, that's the best thing to do. See how it all operates, see how they do things and, and make a decision from there. And uh, 
you know, have a, have a good background of, of raising animals. That would be a good start. And uh, you have to have good property uh, with, that provides good grass and um, obviously good fencing, which um, I'm going to talk to you about in an upcoming video. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today. I hope I've encouraged you to, to raise some bison, um, and I hope I've at least drawn some interest to you um, to do that. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything, you guys can contact me. Um, you can go to my website, crosstimmersbison.com. Um, you can check us out on Facebook and Instagram, and uh, if you already haven't, follow us along and check out our small herd here in southern Oklahoma. Thank you guys so much.